let's talk about bonds. So bonds. So one type is a coupon bond. So you buy the bond, then over time, maybe every month, you get an interest payment. And at some point, your principal is repaid. Another type is the zero coupon bond. Zero coupon bond. So in a zero coupon bond, you buy the bond, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then all at once your principal is repaid. Okay, so how do you compare bonds? One way is with uh, a measure called the current yield. So current yield. The current yield is the annual coupon payment divided by the bond price. So if you have two different coupon bonds, you can figure out based on their price and how much interest they're paying. You know, one might have 5% current yield, another one might have 6% current yield, so you can sort of get a sense of how valuable they are. But this is not a great measure because zero coupon bonds, they have no current yield, but they're obviously valuable. If you can buy a zero coupon bond at a good discount, it'll be worth money because it's paying back more money than you paid at some point in the future and that that's valuable so that we, we need a better measure than this and so a better measure is yield to maturity yield to maturity so for a zero coupon bond we have two parameters there's T and capital T so this is the time of maturity and suppose we have one dollar paid at time t, then the formula, you know, this is an interest rate calculation. We've, we've done this. It'll be e to the negative y t minus t for some y. And that y, that's exactly the yield to maturity, ytm. Okay, now what about a coupon bearing bond? So for a coupon bond, where there's some value of the bond, and that will be the principal discounted back in time to the present plus some sum of all the coupons and then each of those is also discounted back in the present so each one has a different time that's being paid and so the principal discounted to the present the coupons write that down here this is the principal and these are the coupons and discounting everything at the same yield to maturity, y, back to the present will give the, the current price. And what do we have to do? We just solve for y. And you're welcome to play around with it, but uh, when I see this kind of formula and solving for y, I think numerically. Let the computer do the work. All right, so now we have a, a way to measure bonds and compare them. Another way we can compare bonds is with the duration. And so duration, we're talking about Macaulay duration. The definition of the Macaulay duration is it's the time to maturity of the equivalent zero coupon bond. So for a zero coupon bond, the duration is just the, the actual time to maturity. For a coupon bond, we have to do a little bit of calculation. So let's, let's see how that'll work. So the value of the bond will be, you know, some formula with the yield to maturity, y, and we're saying this is equal to some amount of a zero coupon bond that matures at t bar. And so we're not even saying anything about the bond. This could be some very complicated series of payments at different times and some principal at the end. We're just saying that it's equivalent to some zero coupon bond here. Now we can look at 
dv dy, the derivative. So this, this will be, you know, something there. And then over here, we'll get negative x t bar minus t uh, e to the negative y t bar minus t. Just taking the derivative. And now the Macaulay duration is actually negative 1 over v dv dy. And what is that? Looking over here at the equivalent zero coupon bond, that's negative 1 over x e to the negative y t bar minus t times negative x t bar minus t e to the negative y t bar minus t. And we have negatives cancel x e to the negative y t bar minus t cancels. And so that whole thing equals t bar minus t. And that's precisely the, the Macaulay duration. So that's the time to maturity of the equivalent zero coupon bond. Pretty cool. So we didn't even need to mess around with the formula too much. We just need to know here, negative one over V dV dy is the Macaulay duration. And this will be measured in time, so one year or three months or something. And for a zero coupon bond, there is no calculation. It's just the actual time to maturity. So these are two different measures. We have the yield to maturity and the duration, which are, are ways to compare bonds. Cool.